has been left his mark on college football. Unquestionably, and we will continue to check in with Anthony along the sidelines throughout the day. Daniel Murray kicks it away. Iowa won the toss, deferred, so Purdue gets the football, and this is Detman Tardy from the three. And he's out to the 24-yard line. On the field for Purdue. So there is sophomore out of Detroit, Michigan, works out of the shotgun. He'll fake the handoff to Sheets, rolls left. Boy, good throw, but the catch was made on a back. To think about. Take a look at the Rotel starting lineups for the Boilermakers. We'll talk a lot today about Corey Sheets. What an outstanding career he has had at Purdue. And up front, numerous changes from a week ago. Reckman back in at left tackles. Willing back in at left guard. Zach Jones goes from left tackle to right tackle. They're going to hand it off to Corey Sheets, and he spins his way to a first down out to lead for Iowa. And this is a terrific group. 20 takeaways this year, led by the seniors in the middle, Matt Kroll and Mitch King. Pat Engerer, their leading tackler in the middle, flanked by Hunter and Eads. And in the secondary, Bradley Fletcher waited three years to become a starter. He celebrates senior day today. On the first and ten, they give it back to Corey Sheets. And he's out to... Silver up under center, pitches it to Sheets. And coming up to make the stop is Christian Ballard, the sophomore. On a third and seven, Siller lots of time. Flags come down. Brady will be Moving. forced to punt it away. Brady and the offense. That penalty's declined. Fourth down. Back third and one. <laughs> that may be a stretch. Andy Brodell waves for the fair catch, fields it cleanly. Oh, extremely accurately. What a surprise. First down carry <laughs> going to go to Sean Green. And he stiffs arms. 1,374 of those on the year. And the only back in Division 1A football to rush for better than 100 yards in every game. And that's a big breaker out to the 45. That'll be a first down. Take a look at the Rotel starting lineups. We're going to talk about Green all day long. Rodell, a senior, healthy again and having an excellent senior year. And up front, seniors in the middle. Bruggeman and Olsen, the right guard. These guys do a nice job, Tom, with the zone blocking scheme up front. It really complements the running style of Sean Green. Patient runner who's looking to cut back. That's just what you talked about. Wasn't much there where the play was designed. He cuts back. And Stanzi on a second and six. And again, it's Sean Green. This is reminiscent of Ron Dean like seasons. Starting lineup defensively for the Boilermakers. Kerrigan, Baker, Neal, and McGee up front. Linebacking core, the true freshman out of Fishers, Indiana. Chris Carlino starts in the middle. Anthony Haygood, since moving from running back to linebacker, has had a great career. King, Williams, Duong, and Pender, the secondary. They go to celebrate senior day next weekend in West Lafayette when they play for the old Oaken Bucket against Indiana. Green cuts it back to the inside and picks up three. Second down and eight, and Green will get it again and again. A big gainer down to the 25 for 43 yards. And Jewel Hampton will replace him in the backfield. First and 10 at the Purdue 25. Hampton, they like his future very much. A strong runner than those two. It'll get it again. And daylight to the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. Tom, that was simply too easy. We talk about playing discipline. If you're Purdue, you're on the perimeter. Perimeter, you have to force this ball back inside. You cannot get pinned. That's exactly what happens. It opens the floodgates for Hampton. No one in sight, nothing but green. Good play call by Iowa. Purdue can't give up the edge. 
Eight plays, 68 yards, every single one of them on the ground. Before and after, off the upright, and no good by Trent Mossbrucker. It is still Justin Siller at quarterback, and he'll throw on first down. Great coverage on Greg Moore in that game. A second down and 10. Siller throws, and a catch is made by Smith. Out of On a third down and five, quick slant into the air, and it's intercepted. Flags down on the play, and down to the 22-yard line. Average. Pass interference, number 29 on the defense. Ball be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. So an automatic first down, and they're going to fake it to Sheets. That may have been a busted play. What do you think, partner? I think it was. Nate. The football. The thing you always have to keep in mind for those of you that may not be aware, you know, in college football, you take rushing yards away from the quarterback when he is sacked. Unlike the end crossing route. Third down and six. Quarterback keeper, and he will be denied first down yardage. Read beautifully by high snap. Nicely done by the punter Chris Summers. Odell is going to let it sail out of bounds, and they will mark it in the third. Ultimate tailgate package sweepstakes. We're going to tell you about that here in a minute. First down for Iowa. Leading 6-0, beginning this drive from its own 37-yard line. They fake one way, throw it the other to Andy Brodell, and he's out to the 46-yard Ideal situation here, second and one, and down the middle of the field and broken up. Red, beautiful. Well, third down, you got to believe a run coming here, right? Third in the yard? Absolutely. Sean Green. First down across midfield back at <laughs> Wyoming after these final two games of the year is 12 years at Purdue and what a fabulous job he has done. Rodell the catch and it's down to the 43 balls loose. Purdue says they have it and they are correct. Covered up by Brandon King. And that's exactly what the doctor ordered for Purdue. Rodell laying it down on the carpet. Good job of pursuing to the football, wrapping up and playing in the strip game. Watch him form tackle. Brandon King coming up, letting the Calvary come. Now strip the ball out. Excellent defense by Purdue. Corral the ball carry, secure the tackle, and then go for the strip. Well, he not only stripped it, he also covered it up. They get the playoff, so they will not review it. Siller rolling right and throws a dart on the floor. Knowing his arm strength, Purdue continuing to throw the ball outside. Slipping a couple of tackles down to the 35 yard. Keep an eye on that one. Well, how important is that game for Ohio State? As Bolden down with Corey Sheets. Play clock down to two. They just get it off. It is Sheets, and it is a first down to the 31 yard line. Get them on their heels. First down throw and a first down catch down to the 27 yard line. How about big plays and they make you earn every yard you get. Well you brought it up earlier Chris about how good they have been in the red zone and that is a big reason why as there is a vicious look delivered by. A third down and five and Siller will tuck it away and he comes up short. Told. They're going to run it, and Sheets will get the first down to the 15-yard line. So outstanding basketball coach. They give it to Sheets, and there's Mitch King. This now really watch the front four. Watch them un keep the length tight. Cut off the run lanes. Need to get to the five for a first down. The screen to Sheets. Looking for a block to turn the corner, and a flag comes in. As he has run out of bounds at the two outside, holding number 19 on the offense, 10 yard penalty, repeat second down. Second down and 13, quarterback draw, and so there is two. The set is snow. Our first sighting of the wet stuff. 
this winner. This time Bolden on the screen, still on his feet, down to the eight-yard line. That'll bring you three and seven on the year. You're on the road. It's Tiller's final year, as everybody knows. So on fourth down, they're going to throw it. Siller looking around. Great protection. Catch is made. And depending on the spot, we'll see. Siller up under center. He'll give it to Bolden. And make Out of the shotgun. Bolden and Dan Deerking in the game. And they drop it off to Bolden. And he is dropped for a one year. Their fronts, and it's really messing with the protection from Purdue. Protection, Siller, daylight to the end zone, a touchdown. Painter doesn't, but he has that special G. Third and goal from a 10. Siller to the end zone, and it's too tall for the intended. Field goal try from 27 yards, and it is good. Dave, thank you very much. You know, we talk about Penn State, and I don't think we can ex really talk about how important that game might be next week for Penn State against Michigan State. Because barely how quickly things can change. Although I don't think Michigan State will be able to pull that out. You don't. Wow. Sean Green spins away from a tackler, and he's off to the race. To the 40, to the 30, to the 20. Back to the inside. That is exactly why I say he's the best running back in the country. Because I can't tell you another 235 pound back that has the same type of footwork as Sean Green. He combines toughness, mental mainstay, physicality, and quickness. Watch this footwork when he gets out of this spin move there. Gets the burst to take it to the house, but the vision, the patience, how is that man not in any Heisman conversation? It's amazing. You never hear his name brought up, and Moss Brucker has missed another point after, and you can... Daniel Murray kicks it away, and this is Aaron Valentine. Across the 15 and dropped at the 19. Justin Siller still in there at quarterback. And he fakes a handoff to Sheets, and he'll keep it out to the 28-yard line. That'll be up when the Heisman Trophy talk begins. I'm not saying that the quarterbacks that have been mentioned aren't great players, but he should be in the conversation. Corey Sheets chopped it. Really moved him around to have him throw the ball, have him doing quarterback design draws, keeping Iowa's defense off balance. Corey Sheets picks up close leader mm -hmm. with 51 of those. He can do it all. He's a special, special talent. He can beat you in a number of ways. Siller on second down. Catch is made by Smith, and he'll be three yards short of a first down. That's but thick pin boy, he can run a 4-3 in the sand. He's that fast. 4-3 in the sand. I like that. Third down, they have And giving him easy throws with not a lot to think about so far. Fake it to Sheets. And Silla really know where to go. Maybe picks up a yard. Second down, and Silla to throw it. Catch is made to the 45-yard line. That'll be a gain of four. in a punting situation. Summers to punt it, trying to pin him inside the 10. And he will not get it done <laughs> for everybody else, <laughs> right? Rodell in motion, and that play blown dead before it ever got whether the airline ever found his bag. <laughs> Because at last check, he was walking around in a turtleneck today. Now, Anthony, did they get your... He's a fan favorite here. Except with the airline, which will <laughs> remain unnamed. Second and forever for Stanzi. They're going to give it to Sean Green. 
And this time played nicely by the Purdue defense. Kerrigan and Neal on the stop of the place. Uh, for those of you that have not come to Iowa City, uh, the, the fans are great. The people are just wonderful. Third down, rolling around as Stanzi and delivers on the money. A first down to the third. Back the passing game as well. First down give is to Green, and again coming down the line, playing it nicely is Ryan Kerr. Green cutting it back to the inside, and maybe watch Andy Brodell up top. Grace Cross in motion, they're going to throw it. To Johnson Culianos spins out of one tackle and is caught from behind. Outstanding. As Purdue will get the football back one more time and apparently in very good field position. Well injured his shoulder against Minnesota, did not play the last two games. Bobbles a snap, batted in the air, and caught by one of his own field. Painter looking around and throws short. And that's a long pass to the far. Painter steps up, and it's incomplete. That'll be an automatic That's first down. Number 29 on the defense. Ball be Iowa's defensive backs. Painter on first down. A beautiful throw. Looming safety. Purdue one timeout remaining. 122 left in the half, and a short. Name on that list. A lot of great players. Curtis Painter certainly has the production. Fake one way, throw back to Orton the other way. That is a first down. They'll temporarily stop. Zone coverage once again, deep safeties. Painter is going to take it himself, and he slides his way to the three. Getting it in there on a the draw. Going to hand it off on second down to Sheets, and now they're going to have to burn their final time out. Has come on for this final two-minute drive and trying to get the Boilermakers into the end zone. Spreading out his receivers usually to get inside routes. Third down, Painter lofts it to the corner, and it is a touchdown. Desmond Tardy in the corner of the end zone, and Curtis Painter marches his team 60 yards in the hurry up offense for their first touchdown of the game. And one of the rare times that Iowa's come with the blitz. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Look at that ball, though. That's one of the better balls that Painter's thrown all season on the outside shoulder of the receiver, giving the defensive back virtually no chance to make a play. Well, the point in uh, the overwhelming majority here at Kinnick Stadium, well, they took advantage of that penalty. Jewel Hampton. Takes the one hopper out to the 28 yard line, 27. Crowd never likes it. No. They never. The Hawkeyes will get the football. And a very short kick. And coming up to make the play in the 35 yard line is Wayne Leppard. Richard five in the opening half for 31 yards. But of course, when you're rushing for nearly 150 yards, you don't need to do a lot of passing. And Green, who has slowed down after that big run, has since that 75-yard touchdown run, five carries for minus one yard for Green. Batted ball and winning the jump ball. The third down and six for the Hawkeyes. Across the middle, and the catch is made by Brooke Barron's team last year. Got on a pretty good run until that final game of the season when they were upset. They had six wins. They were bowl eligible, but were not invited to play. Second down and nine at the Purdue 39. They give it to Green. And again, not much running room. They had defensive front. Check in with Anthony here after this third down play. We're going to call it third down and five. Anthony's down there along the sideline, an early movement. Offside, number 97 on the defense. Five yard penalty. Half to third and a half a yard. They give it to Green, and I'm not sure. Watch his health as the game progresses. 
Opening drive of the second half for Iowa. And they're down to the Purdue 29 yard line. And Stanzi is dropped for the first time today. And again, it's Ryan Kerrigan. And around to Brodell. And read perfectly. He's shown some zone. Looks like he goes back to zone coverage here. You can see all the spacing so far in the field. Well, they get, need to get to the 19 yard line to cash in on this third down and bat it down. Beautiful late yards away against Penn State. And this one plenty of leg and hammered with more than enough distance. So Murray puts a foot on it. And this is Aaron Valentine from the goal line. And there's some space. He's across the 30 to the 40. Out to the 45 to midfield. Still on his feet. Cuts back to the inside and all the way down to the 36 yard. Justin Siller back in there at quarterback. We saw Painter in the final two minutes leading the Boilermakers to a touchdown in the first half. Field. Boy, look at this formation. Siller. This is on a wide receiver screen to Whittington. The win at the Iowa 35, third down and nine. Siller looking around down the middle of the field. It should have been picked off by Tyler Sash. Siller missed a one. As Chris mentioned, the Big Ten's defensive player of the week. Eight tackles at crucial fourth down interception. As this one is punted in, stops in the Big Ten. When Ohio State and Michigan play, that'll be a noon Eastern game next week, and we'll kick it off after they are wrapped up. They're still bouncing back. Up against their own goal line. Second down, and Stanzi will hand it off to Sean Green. Now they're really slow in situation. Bring some heat. See if you can cut off the run lane. Here's as Iowa will stay on the ground. Nope, they're going to roll out a safe throw for Stanzi. And his pass went. Donahue, a very short punt. His first one today was 24 yards, and this one not a whole lot better. He'll get a little bit of a roll. Well, you talked about Kennick Stadium in Iowa City. They fake it to Dierking. They throw it to Sheets out of the backfield. And he steps out of bounds at the handle on diagnosing the defense. He understands where the pressure's coming from. He's pretty confident with his reach. So they're trying to cut it back, and he's to the 41-yard line. Today, you also have to respect his arm. Silver a pump fake. And a catch is made good enough for a first down to Tardy at the 30. Brilliant and tough upstairs because he's going up against a great defense and he's doing a lot of things. Wide open receiver and falling down out of bounds. He made the catch, but he went down the field. They're giving Iowa some looks that they haven't really seen. Sheets lost his footing after taking the hand. Great protection for Siller. Now it's starting to collapse on him. He gets it away, but they'll lose yardage. Pat Anger continuing to play hard nosed defense. Carson Wiggs. He was a Look at these guys cheating down, getting a little closer to the action. At some point, you got to come and play action pass. Well, they fake it to Green. They roll out Stancy, and then he lofts it beyond because he throws better on the run. Out of the eye, they're going to fake it again to Green. Have Stancy again roll to the right, and this time to Johnson Cooliano's to the 35, and that is a first down. I love the fact that here he is as a first-year starter. Last year as a Freshman, he played in two games. So the future is very bright indeed for Iowa on offense. Run out of bounds. Guy. A carry by Green, his longest since that 75 yard touchdown, and now it's Jewel Hampton. Of course, Green has it. Hawkeyes. Green back in there. They're going to throw it on first down. Stancy looking for the big one down the middle, and he missed a wide. <laughs> India heading in there. 
And they're holding that team together with Scotch tape. They're playing with a lot of courage. Second and ten, short drop, and again it's Darrell Johnson, Culianos, and he loses a football, and Purdue has it on the turnover. Stripped away by Anthony Haygood, covered up by Torrey Williams, and Purdue in business. And Haygood, one of the most unheralded players in the Big Ten, but one of the best linebackers. But watch this Culianos. You talk about ball security, just a little squirrel route. Gets outside, but watch Haygood. The wherewithal to come in, fly to the football, and this goes in Purdue's After favor. Purdue, the call on the field is confirmed. Fumble, recovery by Purdue. First down. Right now, here's a situation where Joe Tiller's team twice. Is and as this crowd starts to roar, Siller's got to continue to lead the chart. And right back into the hands of Iowa after the fumble. Roderick Benz just had it fall into the bend. And I'm a little surprised you wouldn't see Corey Sheets in the ball game. I mean, this is like hot potato. He's getting the thing out of his hands quickly. Talk about sudden change, sudden change. This has been like ping pong going back and forth. That ball just flies right out. Now see if Iowa can go and cash in. Well, you just handed the ball to a freshman who did not play the first four games of the season. Now they're going for the home run ball. Stansy was looking down the field, threw it short to Brodell. With Brodell on that play, he was too wide open. That would be moving the change right now. Second down and 10, they're gonna give it to Green, who breaks it back to the outside. And it's chopped down a nice open field tackle. You see all those turnovers forced by Iowa, 22, but only 61 points. I mean, both of those numbers are staggering. You think you force that many turnovers, but fail to score much. Stanzi rolling around, and that is incomplete. The receiver would. And into the end zone. In this third quarter. Three times they have gotten fabulous field position. This time they started from their own 20, and Siller will hand it off. Sheets back in the game, and he breaks it to the outside, turns the corner, is shoved out of bounds. That's a we hear it here. Unless there's time on the clock, and they just didn't tell anybody upstairs, the Sheets was run out of bounds. And now Siller on second down and 10. Iowa leads as we're set to begin the fourth quarter. And Siller to throw it. And the catch is made by Wasikowski, the tight end. He's out. This is critical for Purdue. Third down and 15. Throwing a little bit from one is Chris Summers. Line drive, kick, returnable for Brodell. He's brought one back for a touchdown already. And this one to the 37. Now, Chris, I want to ask you. <laughs> Both sidelines have been using the heaters to try to get the balls, not feel like boulders, so the people on the field can handle them. Here is Sean Green. He's inside the 25, down to the 12. Gets him uncomfortable and keep bringing the blitzes for Purdue. First down at the 23-yard line. Sean Green again able to stay on his feet and dives inside the fifth. He has 14 of those. Single-season record is 17, set by Tavian Banks in that 1997 year. And he just runs over a tackler and is headed for Peter. Is there a better back in the country? Please. I'm imploring whomever put this guy in Heisman consideration. I mean, you talk about a Mack truck. How about being the nail instead of the hammer? Watch that. Get off me. Get in the weight room. Get your game up. This is Mr. Green. He knows how to finish the run. 14 yards, giving him now 185 rushing yards. Daniel Murray will indeed 
kick the point after in this one. season has started up. Of course, Iowa winning its season opener over at Carver Hawkeye Arena last night. 22 to 10. Quick hit to Orton, and he's down to the 45 yard line. Still a long two months. But the bottom line was last year, and we kind of walked through what his season away from football was like. For those of you that don't know, his first two years, he didn't have enough time to really stay in shape. Yeah, it's such a great story. I mean, some guys take the scenic route to success, and he's certainly one of them. You know, it's not always 80 degrees on the field. Joe Tiller said he couldn't carry the entire load for a half coming back from that injured shoulder. But he led him on a two-minute drive for a touchdown in the first half. And the slam by Orton there short of the first down. They got to go. You're down to tell you where the coverage is going to be. They need to get to the 35 yard line. And that is where they will get on the catch by Orton. And he tacks on a couple of more. Sheets tries to escape Mitch King and he can't. And Bobby Ingram, guy played against Penn State's record. Second down and 12, and Painter, I'm not sure what happened there. Looked like Gordon ran into the official. Give him some credit for being courageous in a big moment. Painter steps up, and the catch is made, but down at the 28 yard line is Tardy, so now 22 yard line. Great protection and a bullet delivered by Painter, and that is a first down to Orton inside of a blitzing situation. Well, they snap it to Corey Sheets, and he's inside the 15 and down to the 14. <laughs> King was limping back into the defensive huddle for Iowa, but he's still in the game. A second down, and Painter to throw it. And a catch is made by Tardy. He's inside the five, down to the three. First is down at a point after. Painter. Dangerous throw. And it is intercepted. Andrew getting his fifth interception of the season. Bins initially tipped it. Boy, that is such a dangerous play. You just have to wonder about that call. Well, they won it with Descott. I mean, first off, Iowa makes this thing look like man-to-man -man coverage. That's exactly what Painter thinks. So he thinks the route's going to be there. Good coverage underneath. 91 drops back into coverage to take that ball away. Ben. Seven minutes to play from Iowa City on first down. Sean. Green looking for a little bit of room and turns a little tackles and two interceptions in the Wisconsin game. And what did uh, Kurt Ferentz tell us or Norm Parker tell us yesterday? So this guy has just unbelievable ball skills. We saw it there. Stancy rolling. And he has run out of bounds short of the first down. Letting that play clock run all the way down before they snap it. Short punt again by Donahue. Horton the catch to the 40 yard line. That'll be a gain of five. Every underneath cut because Purdue has shown that they can exploit it. Short throw again this time tardy about a half a yard shy of the first down. They hand it to Sheets and really it depends upon the spot. Again brought it is a first down. Clock continues to run. 440 to play. Slightly overthrown. Gonna look at the Outback Steakhouse scoreboard. From around the Big Ten in the top 25 today, that is Tardy, and that is a first down to the 19. In front of the safety. Catch 
catch again by Tardy. That'll be a five yard. So they give up underneath cuts. Painter will keep it himself, and that is good enough for a first down play. Smart, smart football. Painter trying to get him into the end zone for the second time today, and he does. Touchdown to Orton. 340 to play. And with a point after, Purdue will be within five. Well, you get a wide receiver on a linebacker, and it's going to be curtains every time. And that's what happened. Eads in a trail position. There's just no way he's going to lock up and cover Greg Orton. Orton will win that battle 10 out of 10 times. Does a good job finding the paint, putting six more points on the board for Purdue. Orton, his first touchdown of the afternoon, his eighth catch of the day, and the point after is good. So 3.40 to play on the road at Purdue. Or so wrap it up playing for the old oak and bucket against in-state rival Indiana next week in West Lafayette. And this is Jewel Hampton to the 45, the 50, and all the way to the 40. A steady dose of Sean Green figures to be on the menu starting right now with a five-point lead. And it is Green. Inside the 35, down to the... again picks up maybe two yards named after Niall Kinnick when he was a consensus first team All-American and a Heisman Trophy winner in Iowa going back to the year 19. His third down is a big play right here for Iowa Purdue trying to get the football back and they give it to Green who cuts it to the inside and is denied first down yardage by a yard a yard when you have to have it. Green in the eye formation. He's going to get it. And he does not get it. So a fourth down stuff by the Purdue. Now time for Painter. He has two timeouts remaining. A minute and nine. They're down by five. Painter steps up. Was that a catch? No. Should be seven. Those are the things that seem so innocuous at the time. But Moss Brucker, believe me, he's feeling the weight of the world on his shoulders right now. He's the biggest fan of this Iowa defense right now. Orton on a very short gainer. Second down, third down, I beg your pardon. We'll call it five. Catch by Tardy. That is a first down to the 30 city. The clock has started back up. Under 50 as Painter steps up, throws to Orton, and that is another first down. It'll stop at 43 seconds. The defense that's being played by Iowa. Clock at 40, 39, 38. Painter is sacked all the way back at the 35, and he'll have to call. Out of the shotgun, Painter. Second down. Catch is made by Tardy, short of the first down. Clock continues to run. Under 25, 23, 22, 21. Purdue out of timeouts. King comes limping off the field. The clock down to 17, 16, and 15. And Painter to throw it. And it is caught for a first down to the 42. The problems with our scoreboard up at the top of your screen. That's why we're continuing to give the time remaining, 10 seconds left. Purdue down five. And the ball at the Iowa 42. Can't throw in the middle of the field. Got to keep the ball outside on the perimeter. Trips to the right. Painter will throw. Catch out of bounds. Clock stuck against Michigan. Yeah. And this time Iowa will call a timeout. Make sure you get it to the end zone if you're Curtis Painter. Protection holds up. Painter steps up. Lofts it to the end zone. Incomplete game over. Iowa hangs on to win it 22 to 17. Blistering Big Ten battle moves your team to 7-4. Yeah, it's just great to get the win, Anthony. It was a very hard-fought uh, game. 
Purdue played a heck of a game. Our guys fought hard too and uh, went right down to the last gun again. And Sean Green again over 200 yards in this football game. Another special day for him. Yeah, I, I can't say enough about the way he's been playing. He's been doing it all season long. Uh, really ran again, uh, very tough again today. So uh, we needed a spark today. He gave it to us. And senior day, another game for uh, for uh, Mitch King to come up with some plays late in that ball game. Yeah, I really did. I can't say enough about our seniors too. They've done a wonderful job all season long. Uh, King and Cole, you got to start there. Those two guys, outstanding. Brugham and Olson on the other side. Whole group's done a great job. And now you're set up to battle for Florida Burlesdale next week heading to Minnesota. And we'll catch our breath tonight. We got one left, but we're, uh, it's great to get the win today. All right, Kirk, good Thanks, luck moving forward. Thanks. Tom? Well, we thank you, Anthony. We thank Coach Ferentz. So a 7-4 and four record. You may remember last. Over 200 yards. The atmosphere here at Kinnick Stadium, your last home game of this season. Yes, I got to give all the credit to my offensive line, you know. They did a good job today blocking guys up, and they stuck with it when times were tough. So I got to give all the credit to my offensive line, then the wide receivers not blocking down the field. And you've spoken of tough times. We talked to you during the week about some things you've been through in your career. How special is it the season you've had so far? It's very special, you know. This just goes to show everybody that you can uh, come up from your mistakes you make in life, and anything is possible. Now, you've been over 100 games every game this season. One more regular season game next week heading to Minnesota. Yeah, uh, we, we got to flush this one. It's a great win, but we got to flush this one and get ready for Minnesota next week. All right, Tom, the folks want one more year out of Sean Green, but he's got one more game. Back to you. Indeed he does, and if they get to eight wins, we're talking about it, Chris. I mean, uh, they're going to be playing on New Year's Day. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about possibly Outback Bowl, Capital One, but Sean Green, I mean, just a great